Hey everyone, I'm Chad. I'm with the Man Crafting Channel. And I've done two other videos on the Fake Yeti, and I know that uh, probably the number one question is, how do they perform relative to one another? And I did an extreme test on my second video. I didn't think it was a real good judge of how well either one performed because the lids collapsed at some temperature above 200 degrees, I'm guessing. I'm gonna go with a real world example. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven again. But today, I'm gonna show you how well they perform against each other at 160 degrees, which is not an abnormal temperature for an interior of a car to get to on an 85, 90 degree day. I wanna know how well is this cup gonna perform when I'm putting it through its toughest test. And for me, the toughest test is when I'm driving around during the day and I'm leaving my car parked out in the parking lot and I leave my cup inside, am I gonna have ice when I come back? So let's see just how well these two cups perform at those kind of temperatures. I'm gonna do a time-lapse video. I'm gonna check it in 30 minute increments. I'm gonna test the internal temperature of the cups and the external. And I'm gonna to try to make it as quick as possible without leaving out any important information. Let's get started. I'm gonna add ice to these two cups and we'll go from there. Okay, so we're gonna tear these to zero. And then I'm gonna add 250 grams of ice to each of these. In the oven they go. We got the Yeti on the right, the Fetty on the left. Let's get this started. All right, 30 minutes into the test. Internal temperature on both of those is about the same. And we're gonna go back in for another 30 minutes. I don't know what the heck's going on with this. Between the videos, having problems, and the timer. Let's see, I put this in at 9 o'clock. It's now 1247, even though the videos don't exactly represent that. And it's been at about 170 degrees that entire time. Both cups still have ice in them. I'm going to measure what's left. Let's go over to the table. Well, let's start with this one. All right, so still a lot of ice. These have spent hours, like since about 8.30 yesterday, I think, is when I started. This one has 3.5 ounces of water in it. And that's at about 170 degrees, still ice cold, still pretty nice chunk of ice left in there. And this one, just over 3.5 ounces of water. Negligible difference. This is the actual Yeti. This is the fake Yeti. So after four hours at 170 degrees, 
the Fetty or a fake Yeti or counterfeit Yeti, whatever you want to call it, may actually have edged out the actual Yeti. So if you're looking for price savings with great performance, then there's no question getting a counterfeit Yeti is going to provide perfect results. If you like the brand name and you want to support a company that's here in the U.S., then I guess you go with the Yeti. I mean, not only are you supporting Yeti, but you're supporting any of the retailers that carry Yeti. These are shipped directly from China. So you're supporting a Chinese company sold by a Chinese. It's up to you. I know a lot of people are just about price and that's why Walmart's done so well. I have a tendency to want to support the US company, but I understand people want to have a good price. It's a tough call, but for the people who are 100% price sensitive, it's not that tough a call. I guess there's no question that the Fetty or fake Yeti is going to be the cup for you. Thanks for watching. I hope this answer some of your questions. I apologize. I had problem after problem after problem with recording. Either I pushed play or I pushed play twice. I'm not sure which, but I think part of it is I'm just tired. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. Good night.